So every year I make a Halloween themed circuit and with Halloween just around the corner I thought I'd get on it early and make a flickering light. It's really easy to make a light that just turns on and off intermittently but it's a little bit more tricky to make a light like this. At the heart of this circuit is probably the most useless component ever, the RAN switch. If you want to know more about the RAN switch check up in the cards now and there's a video explaining it. Now I think hospital corridors in horror films made flickering lights famous and they really do give that sense of suspension. So here's how you make it. We're going to start with a way of turning the lights on and off as always and for this I'm just going to use a standard switch. Make sure the switch is powered as this is where we're going to get all of the electricity from for the rest of our components. Next we're going to need a branch, a timer switch, a branch, another branch and finally a RAN switch oh, and we are going to need a blocker as well um, you can just slip this somewhere in between your branches. Now I have tried to find an easy way to explain the wiring for this circuit but I can't so deal with it. If you want to build this circuit then just put the video in slow motion or pause it and go along with it. So let's get to the wiring up. First things first, make sure your first branch is powered from your switch. Then the branch out needs to go into the bottom of the timer switch. You need two power going through the branch for this to work. Then the timer out goes into the block pass through of the blocker. I'd recommend setting the timer to 0.5 or maybe even 0.3, depending on the latency of the server. Any slower and it won't look like the lights flickering. So you'll need to power the timer to be able to set it. Once you've done that, use the power out from the first blocker to power the last blocker. Then the branch out from the final blocker will power the RAN switch. The power for your lights will be coming from the RAN switch so make sure you've got enough power going through it to be able to turn them on. Then the power out will go to your blocker. Are you lost yet? Yeah, don't worry, I've lost myself at this point but remember you can pause the video. The power out from the blocker will power the final branch. The branch out from this one will go into the toggle of the timer switch. And finally, the power out will go into the set of the RAN switch. And that's it, it's all done. You can power multiple lights through pass-throughs. I would only recommend doing that if they're in different rooms. If you do it and they're in the same room, it'll look like this. And as you can see, it hasn't really got the same effect. Personally, I'd have one light permanently on and one flickering. It looks much better that way. Finally, because it's Halloween, you'll probably have access to Halloween themed things like ornaments and skull sticks and fog machines. The fog machines don't need electric, all you do is put a little bit of low grade in there and turn it on and away you go. You'll probably also be able to get the Frankenstein tables and the coffin storage boxes, all sorts really, so just make your room look as creepy as you can. The final part is make sure everything's powered. Wait for night and it'll give you the best effects. As usual, remember to hide the components away and that'll protect them. So it's been a nice short video but I always make one of these every year so I thought I'd uh, carry on the tradition. If you've watched it this far let me know you're a legend in the comments down below and I'll give you an adicod heart. If there is something you want to see then let me know in the comments. Really appreciate the patrons on screen now and everyone that's watching. If you want to see more of this then hit the subscribe button and if you leave a like it lets me know I'm doing a good job. So thanks again and I'll see you in the next video.